Hi everyone, welcome to my video today. I really wanted to do a video with you because I was having a chat to my friend the other day and she's a new mum and um, I actually thought, do you know what, I'd really like to do something out there for the new mums of the world because I think your hormones are everywhere. Um, it's a, an amazing time, but also a really difficult time, I think, when you become a first, um, first time mum. I'm not a mum, just to put it out there, so this is all just my, um, my thoughts on the matter, just because I've got a lot of friends and family that have had babies and things like that, and I think um, a lot of the time the mums put themselves under an awful lot of pressure. But it's mainly aimed for those mums just to kind of keep them a little bit sprightly, and I know that you don't have a lot of time, but if you do love your makeup and you refuse to give it up, then this video is perfect for you because it will just show you how to do something super quickly and also just keep it in a little bag like this so you can take it with you. But I'm trying to condense everything down just so you can do a really simple look at home. Let's get started. Right, now the most important thing is if you feel tired and you feel rubbish, um, which I do a little bit today, um, the most important thing is to make your skin look absolutely amazing. If you've got amazing looking skin then pretty much you can get away with most things. Um, I'm going to start off with this um, Estee Lauder Revitalising Supreme uh, Wake Up Balm. Now this has got a, like a little light reflector in it, I've used it a couple of times. But um, I tend to put it over the top of my normal moisturiser as well, just because I really want my skin to be quite glowy. Um, and this will really help kind of lift everything a little bit. Now the other thing that I absolutely love that I think is amazing is skin food. Um, this is an absolute saviour. It's brilliant for this time of year. It's a really thick cream, really, really thick cream. But what I do is I use it as a bit of a lip balm. So I'm going to pop it all over my lips, but also in areas where you feel a little bit dry still. Um, I always keep one in my handbag. You can just pop it on your hands, rub it together and just press it um, on your skin throughout the day. So it just really lifts your skin a bit. But really make sure that your skin feels quite tacky and dewy and that will really, really help. Um, I'm going to pop on this Estee Lauder EE Cream. Um, I love this. I've been wearing it the whole time I was away. Um, it gives a really, really light coverage. I'm going to pop it on with my fingers. Um, but again, super light, but a little bit of coverage. I'm just going to pop a little bit on my cheeks. And just again, just really blend it in with your fingers. You can put use, you can use it with a brush if you want to, but we haven't got time, people. We're on a baby clock here. So that just gives a really nice light coverage, not anything too heavy. What I'm going to do though is I am going to go in with, now this is the key to when you have no sleep. I'm going to go in with the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Bisque. Now this is the kind of pinky tone. Um, this is the stuff that you're going to need to make you look like you've had 24 hours sleep. I'm just going to pop that under my eye, right into the corner. So you basically want to go where any dark areas are. Uh, so this will get rid of any of those grey or bluey tones under the eye. It's really good. Try and do it with your ring finger and really press it into your eye. Uh, just underneath so you're doing little dabbing motions rather than scratching motions because you really don't want to put too much pressure around the eye area. Um, but also this just helps the product to really melt into it. So it just instantly lifts. Now that's my corrector so now I'm going to go in with my concealer. Uh, you can use the Bobbi Brown one as well, they come with the pack, they're really really lovely, but I'm going to use this, uh, what one is this? I'm going to use the Bare Minerals um, Bare Skin Complete Coverage. Just going to pop a little bit under my eye, just in areas that I need a little bit more coverage there actually. And I'm actually going to take my Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Face Touch Up Brush with this and I'm just going to stipple it on just go in really blend it out see look how more awake I look instantly refreshed raring to go right the other thing is I think multi-purpose things are brilliant especially when you haven't got time um, you don't want to get out hundreds and thousands of things so I'm going to go in with the Bobbi Brown pot rouge this one is in Tell you ride this one here. It's a kind of brownie colour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as my bronzer. I'm just going to smile and just pop this. Again, you can use your fingers if you want to onto your cheeks. And again, I'm keeping everything really dewy because this will just make you look really fresh and healthy. So just literally blend that into your hairline as well. 
If you're really, really oily skinned, then you don't necessarily have to use all of these products at all. I'm particularly dry, so I like to look dewy. Um, but if you are super oily, um, then you can just do all of this with powders. So this would just be a powder bronzer. See, that just brings my skin back to life. Really nice, nice glow. Um, probably a bit too much of glow, I might need a little bit of powder, but I'm just going to let that sit on my skin for a bit. Now, the next thing, multi-purpose things, uh, cream shadow. Um, I love a cream shadow. I'm going to go with Painterly by MAC. This is just a really neutral colour, really good as a base. Um, again, with my ring finger, just going to pop that all over, just on the lid. Not anything crazy. These are all kind of stay put products as well, especially ones on your lid. Really, really good. And then I'm just going to take the Bobbi Brown, uh, which one is this? This is the Longwear Bronze Shimmer Gel Liner. Now, this can either be used as an eyeshadow on its own, so if you want a bit of a smokier look, then pop that on, or it can be used as a liner. It's a very light as a liner, though. It's not going to be like the black ink one or the caviar one or anything like that. It's got a bit of sheen to it. So I'm going to show you how to put it on. It's quite good if you want to practice this one. Uh, but if you don't have, again, you don't have a lot of time, you're like, yeah, right, I'm not going to be able to put eyeliner on. This one's great for that because actually I don't want a heavy liner, so it doesn't matter if it's smudgy. So I'm just going to take that along my lash line, quite thick. And as I said, this can be used as an eyeshadow as well, so don't worry too much. And then I'm just going to take it underneath a little bit. Just take a little smudgy brush, just go over the top. This one's just one that came with something else. See how it just really nicely blends out. And then again down. Just give it a wipe if you don't want too much on. Fine. A few more seconds before this imaginary baby wakes up. I'm going to curl my eyelashes because I always do. I love curling my eyelashes. Which ones are these? These are number seven. Uh, I'm going to take the Rosy Huntington Whiteley Mascara. Oh, this is a bit globby, this one. This is Big Dream Lashes. It's got quite a cool wand, actually, this one. It's just quite a lot of product, so I'm just going to quickly go through my lashes with that. I like this mascara because it does give you nice big lashes. I'm not going to bother with the bottom just because I don't want to. Oh, the um, lip balm. I mean, the bronzer that I used. I'm going to put a little bit of that on my lips. Uh, if it's just literally racing back and forth throughout the day, taking the kids somewhere or whatever, this is the pot rouge that you can double up as a lipstick too. Really nice, kind of bronzy. A little bit more on my cheeks just because I want to kind of look a little bit more alive. If it's important to you guys and you feel that you're lost without them, then fill in your little eyebrows if you want to. Personally, I think one of those little mascaras would be ideal. I'm just going to brush through mine, just through the ends. I'm not going to put anything on the middle. Um, Completely up to you. If you are a little bit oily, then I would definitely say pop some powder on, especially if you've used the products that I've been talking about. Um, I'm going to just set it all because I do not I do feel quite tacky and I want it to last. With this Bobbi Brown uh, Nude Illuminating Powder, again, it's got a really nice texture to it, this one, as I'm nearly run out, actually. Just run it all through. Just take off any of that shine you might have. Now I know I did that kind of um, the pot rouge on my lips, um, but I uh, personally, if you are a bit more daring and you want to go for something a little bit brighter, um, the one, I'm just going to pop that off a bit, the one lipstick that really makes me happy this time of year, because I find this time of year can be a bit, uh, this is Sorbet by Revlon, I absolutely love this, it's like a um, sheer butter one, it's quite bright, and as I said, just makes me feel good about things just lifts everything a little bit so there you have it guys there's a super quick mums on the run makeup um, it all fits in my little makeup bag here that I've got with me 
teeny weeny little thing so you can take it all with you um, but it's basically makeup just to make you make yourself feel a little bit better about things um, and to know that you still can put makeup on even though you've got a newborn with you um, I hope you enjoyed it make sure you give it a thumbs up and a like and check me out on Instagram and Twitter and if you've got any questions then please do comment below um, I hope you have a fabulous day and I'm gonna let you get on with your day see you later guys bye